Yo, how's it going guys? Well, today have I got a treat for you because today I'm going to be showing you the brand spanking new Air Aqua Duo by Maxpect. Yo, how's it going guys? So yes, today, oh my God, are you in for a treat? Your eyeballs are just gonna be assaulted with awesomeness in this video. Cause today, we are gonna be checking out this Air Aqua Duo Protein Skimmer by Maxpect. Now, this thing, I can say straight up, hand on heart, is an absolute beast because I have actually been beta testing this product myself over the past few months and it does exactly what it says on the tin it skims and it skims very very well but this skimmer is also a new concept when it comes to skimming a reef aquarium so i'm not even going to bother boring you with an unboxing video you know you can unbox it when you get it so let's get rid of this box and let's get the skimmer out and here it is now I know what you're thinking straight away. I can hear it, I can hear you all saying going, ooh, now that is a sexy skimmer. And I would agree. Now this thing is not only sexy, but it is massively functional. So first of all, you've got a controller with it. So this is a DC controllable pump and it comes with Maxpex advanced controller. So this not only gives you the ability to control sort of like how fast you run the motor, you can put it into feed mode and stuff like that. But because it is the advanced controller, this can pair up with an ICV6, giving you the ability to use Synergy. Now Synergy is basically an app on your phone that gives you the ability to control all of your MaxBet products. I run Synergy on this. So I've got MaxBet lights, I've got the MaxBet gyre, I've got a MaxBet turbine duo return pump and I've got one of these and I can very simply just go to my app, open the app up, hit feed mode and it'll turn the gyres off, it'll turn the return pump off and it'll turn my skimmer off. So it is proper cool. So you can have full control and everything that you can do on here, you can also do on your phone. Let's start off at the top. So this thing just, it blows my mind. So first of all, this, this thing right here, you can see a cable sticking out, this. So on the back of the skimmer cup, we've got like an extrusion. So this skimmer cup has been molded especially for this, this skimmer. It's not a skimmer cup from other skimmers and it's just been, you know, just adapted. This has been specially made. And on the back here, we have this thing. Oh, hold on, hold on. Love this thing. Now I have an acrylic sump. I have a sump that has lids on it. And then, so the lids themselves, what they do is they sit around the neck of the skimmer. So the skimmer body is under the lids and the skimmer cup is above the lids. Now, if for whatever reason this skimmer was to over skim and the cup was to overflow, then that would land on my lids and it would then go all over my floor, which is clearly not ideal. So this thing is a float switch. And what this does is when the cup fills up, this goes up, and it turns the skimmer off. So if you've ever had one of those days where you've had a little bit of a brain fart and you've put everything into feed mode other than your skimmer, your water level in your sump's risen and your um, skimmer cup has overflown, um, this will stop that. And it doesn't stop there, no, no, no. I've also got a little life hack for you. So if you're having one of those days where you can't be bothered, you know, going over to your advanced controller and putting it to, in, into feed mode, or you can't be bothered getting your phone out to put this into feed mode, then here's a little hack for you. So you're doing your maintenance and you wanna turn your skimmer off while you do it, simply just take your lid, flip it over, that switch is gonna make the skimmer turn off, do whatever you need to do, and when you're done, put it back on, nailed it. So there's no messing about, so that is super easy. And I found that out whilst I've been using mine. Now another great thing, and you know what, this is a bit of a novelty, but I absolutely love it. Now normally, when you look at a skimmer, it looks like that. You have your drain hose just flapping around. Now more and more of us are focused on having our sump areas just as beautiful looking 
as our displays. So something like that, that doesn't go with what we want. That's an OCD trigger right there. So obviously once you've finished with this skimmer, um, draining it out, all you gotta do is just take it and wrap it back around the neck and it's gone. Oh, do you know what I'm saying? Do you know what I mean? How cool is that? So that's that. Now, we're not, even, we're not even into the body of the skimmer yet and it all just keeps rolling, it just keeps coming. Check this one out, you ready for this? Yeah, don't worry about me, just took the skimmer cup off, this cup off, just nice and easy, just like that. That is how easy the skimmer cup comes off. It is a quick release skimmer cup. We've just got two um, little sort of like holder things there. All you do, pop the cup on, turn those round, skimmer cups back on. None of this gasket method where you have to sort of like force the, the cup into the neck and then it holds with a rubber gasket. And then when it comes to maintenance time, you gotta go over and you're like this, ragging it and then it's like, <clears throat> you pull it off, skim eight goes everywhere. It either falls down back the back of the neck and goes back into the skimmer or it goes over you and you smell like a tip. None of that with this. <laughs> so I just want to show you again. Come on, I'll show you again. Literally, look, two thumbs, bosh, bosh, it's off. Nice and easy, put it back on, bosh, done. That is awesome, you've got to admit it, you've got to admit it. Now, it doesn't stop there. Now we're coming down into the body of the skimmer. Now this skimmer has been designed. This skimmer hasn't just been repurposed from another one, this has been designed. The body itself is in two pieces. It's not one you know, total piece, it's two pieces. And because it's two pieces, they've been able to do something that no other skimmer has done. And they've been able to incorporate basically everything into it. So on the front, what you've got is you've got your flow door. So basically what this does right here, this controls the height of your water. Normally what you'd be having on another skimmer is an acrylic rod would be coming up out of the side, which would make the footprint of the skimmer even bigger. So you'd have this acrylic rod and you turn it, or some skimmers would have like um, a PVC pipe, which you turn, which, you know, don't look the best, does it really? But on this, that's it. So watch this here, just watch this hole down there. So literally one finger look, turn it. Oh, if I knew which way to turn it, because I'm looking the wrong way. Turn it, look, turn it round. Flow door goes up and that's just one finger. So the controllability is dead simple. And then close it, water level's gonna go up. Open it, water level's gonna go down. Pick where you want it to be to get that perfect water height. Speaking of water height, check this out. That little dot there, can you see it? Little white dot, oh, what's that? Well, oh, that is something for a lot of people that's gonna be brilliant because that is where you want your water height, poof. That's where your water level goes. You just line it up with them, job done. It's not like a sticker on the front or anything else, it is actually molded into the body. That's where your water level goes, boom. So you, this is a big thing for a lot of people because they don't know where to situate a skimmer properly. They don't know what height it needs to be sat in. And if you don't sit a skimmer in the correct amount of water, it won't perform to its utmost. It won't, or sometimes it won't perform at all. So with that, you've got those little things there. Boom, nailed it. You're not gonna worry. As soon as you put it in, as soon as you switch it on, you're skimming, because you know exactly where you are. On the back side of this, so we've got, you know, the spine of it. The, oh, just pulled the rubber foot off. One second. There we go. On the back side of it, this is your air intake. So again, it's built into the body. You haven't got a, a you know, silicone hose flapping around, connecting to your inlet. You don't have that. It's actually incorporated into the body of the skimmer. Now this thing, see this little box here? This isn't actually the silencer. The silencer is built into the base. So the water, because it's underwater, that sort of like that air movement noise and stuff is dampened by that and it's, it basically runs very, very quiet. Now, if I stay quiet for a second, you can hear the general running of my tank and it's not that loud at all, considering I've got a 2,000 litre per hour Max Spec Jaya 350 on that side. I've got a, sorry, 20,000 litre per hour, not two, 20,000 litres on that side, 20,000 litres on that side. I've got a 12,000 litre per hour return pump and I've got one of these in the tank. 
all you can hear is the surface of the water breaking. You know what I mean? So it's proper cool, it's dead silent. Now, if you're running something like um, ozone or if you use a CO2 scrubber, there isn't actually any connections on here for you to connect those up. But what you can actually do is if you just grab the holes at the back there, you can pull the holes out and connect it to whatever you need to connect it to. You know, just plug it right into there and you're away. Now, if you've got a CO2 scrubber, you could be running it through that one. If you've got ozone, you could be running it through that one. You've got two, you've got two choices. You could run ozone twice. You could two, run two ozone uh, units, but obviously be very careful if you were to do that. And then all it does is just pop back in, pop it into there. Done. So that's how easy it is. Now this skimmer, utilizes the max spec turbine duo return pump now the max spec are innovative well they're an innovative company they tend to try and do things differently to everybody else rather than copy they innovate and this pump is definitely a sign of that now this is basically two pumps in one it has two inlets and two outlets so say for example if you was using this pump in here as a return pump like i do you could very easily feed the tank from one outlet and feed a reactor, a chiller or whatever else from the other outlet. So you're not worrying about loss of flow because it's on separate sides. Now, because they're using the turbine duo inside the skimmer, that means the skimmer takes in water from two sides. It takes in twice the amount of air because it's pulling air from not only this side, it's pulling air from this side, which in turn means this skimmer creates a massive, massive amount of foam in its reaction chamber. Now, all of these things that I've just shown you are all well and good, but if the skimmer itself doesn't do what it's built to do, to skim, then what's the point? Now, this thing truly does it and it does it well. The reaction chamber, the foam inside here is so thick it just looks like you've stuffed it with filter floss. It barely looks like it's moving until you get right down here um, in the skimmer. So it's just like, basically if you imagine, the thicker, the more dense those bubbles are, if a piece of waste goes into this section and as those bubbles push that waste up, it can't sort of like escape out because it's so thick. You know, it can't get down because the bubbles are pushing it up. Now, if there's gaps and if, you know, there's transparencies in the reaction chamber, then there's potential then for the waste to make its way through and out. Now, while we're on the subject of waste getting out of the skimmer, which is something that we don't really want to happen, do we? Everything that we want to skim, we want to skim. We don't want it going into our sump and just sitting there for us to clean up in a different way. Now, this is another unique feature to this. This skimmer can actually recirculate itself. What that means basically is normally a skimmer will pull water from outside of its body, from the sump area, into the skimmer body, and then, you know, go through the reaction chamber. Anything, you know, that doesn't get caught or anything will come out of the front door or the whatever door they've got. This, if you turn this nozzle here, or the one on the other side, it opens up the nozzle on the inside. So what that does is you can turn it so that it opens up a little square hatch area so it will bring water in from the body. So any waste that may have not been collected by the bubbles first time round, as it comes back down, it can get caught again and go back up again. So the thing can actually try over and over again to take the waste. So, you know, this gives you the ability to skim really, really well. Now, this, the inlets also have dual pinwheels. So rather than just one single pinwheel like most have, where basically it's a wheel on the motor and it has loads of little pins like my finger all around this disc, this one has one of those, but then it has another one on the opposite side. One stays static and one moves. So it mashes the bubbles up. It really, really mashes the bubbles up. So the foam that comes out is, oh. Now, if you have a look uh, just on the top there, you can sort of like see 
there isn't a traditional bubble plate that you're used to seeing. Now, if you'll have a look at your skimmer, you'll see that there's probably like a, a disc on there with loads of holes drilled into it. So what that does is sort of like when the, when the air, when the water and air mixture comes out the foam, it gets trapped in this thing and then it sort of like comes out in a really condensed foam through the holes. Now, because this has such a good operation, it works so well at creating foam, it doesn't need that bubble plate, which makes it even more efficient because there's no restrictions. It's in, it's out. There's no restrictions in the way to stop that. So that's how cool this is. Now, moving on to what we got next. I wanna show you something. I wanna show you something that is mega cool. Stripping it and putting it back together. Are you ready for this? Now, sometimes when it comes to maintaining a skimmer properly, like doing a full maintenance when you clean the body and everything, because if you're running a refusion, for example, you might have a load of algae starting to build up in the body of the skimmer, so it needs cleaning. It can be a bit of a pain because sometimes you even need to get like a screwdriver out to undo some acrylic screws on certain skimmers, which isn't ideal. So watch this, are you ready? So this is how quick it is to take a Max Spect Air Aqua Duo skimmer apart. Ready? Right, cut off, cut those down. Pull these out of the way because they always fall, over, fall every time I do it. Cups off, inlets, out. Ready? Quick release base. Yes, you heard it. Quick release base, one turn, one turn. Quick release, quick release. Ready? Pull, that's your skimmer body off. Now you can maintain your skimmer body. Oh, we're not done there. We also, all you gotta do here, so this is your air intake. So this, like I said to you before, the air comes from that back spine, it goes into the base, and then you pump drawers from these things here. You know, so all you do is pull your air lines off the motor, pull the motor out, you've got access to your motor. This all breaks down as well, so you can literally strip it down to this black line in the middle, which is actually the motor. Give that a bit of a toothbrush clean, put it all back together, and then this is how it goes back together, ready? I will do this without messing about. Three, two, one, go. So you put that back into there. Boom, put your air lines back on. Like that. That goes in, get your body. Body goes back on, quick releases. Turn, turn, inlets, go back on. Boom, boom. Skimmer cup clip things, go back on. Skimmer cup goes back on. <laughs> Naughty that, innit? How good's that? Stripped it, put it back together in less than a minute, potentially. I don't know how long it took, but that is how quick it is. So if you're doing that in your sump area, it's gonna be no faff. It's gonna be so easy to just strip it and put it back together. Now the features just keep on rolling and they just, they're just things that you just think to yourself, no way, the base. Now this, if you could, I don't know if you can just make it out, right here, just in front of the base plate here, this is where the motor fits and there's a little slit here. This is where the water needs to go through to get out of this door. Now, sometimes when we use skimmers, all of the micro bubbles that are used to collect the crap can get out of the skimmer and then they end up coming into our main displays, which isn't ideal. Now, because the water has to pass through this little tiny slit here, and then inside it is a little ledge there, it acts as a bubble trap. So the bubbles coming out of the skimmer are next to none. So you've not even got to worry about micro bubbles going into the main display. Guys, this skimmer is now available for pre-order and there is a pre-order link in the description of this video now. So make sure that you get one of these when they come out because trust me, you will not be sorry. This thing is not only beautiful, not only functional, but it is a beast. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you do have any questions at all, if you feel that I've missed something or have not answered something in this video, Ask your questions in the comment section of this video. And guys, thank you so much. And I will see you all soon.